This is your Bible Geeks Daily Download, episode 149, Gift Giving. What do you want for your birthday? A new phone? New pair of shoes? Maybe just a quiet evening at home? Everybody loves receiving gifts from those they care about, so what's the best present you could possibly get? In Romans 3, Paul unwraps the box on a gift so amazing and powerful that it saves us from the deadliest disease imaginable. And that is the disease of our sins. In Romans chapter 3, verses 10 through 12, Paul says, None is righteous. No, not one. No one understands. No one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good. Not even one. We've all sinned. Saying or thinking that we haven't sinned is a huge mistake on our part. 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 and 10. That lie you once told a co-worker? That lustful thought that you had while browsing the internet, or that secret sin that no one ever sees, all leave you separated from the holy God. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2. So let your sins sink in, own and acknowledge them. Only when we realize the extent of our failure will we understand what we need so desperately. He heals us by his grace. Romans 3, 23 to 25 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over former sins. We absolutely need God's grace to be saved from our sins. The gift of Christ's blood is something we could never earn or repay. He speaks about it as justifying, redeeming, and as a propitiation, bringing two separate things back together again. That's what Jesus' blood does for us. It brings us back to a relationship with God, despite our past sins. So what's required of us? Simply put, our faith. In Romans chapter 3, verses 26 through 27, Paul says it was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of our boasting? It is excluded. By what kind of law? By a law of works? No, but by the law of faith. How do we access his gracious gift of salvation? Remember our first point. We've all sinned. So we could never boast about our perfect rule keeping. That's why it's all about faith. Trusting in Jesus enough to walk like him, think like him, and respond like him every day. Grace cost Jesus his life. But what does your faith cost you? Are you willing to give up your old ways of living because Jesus laid down his life for yours? And it's not about perfect rule keeping, but all about being Christ's disciples, his learners and students here on this earth. Praise God for his incredible mercy. Let's admit our sins and take hold of his grace by faithfully following him today. Thanks for tuning in, and may the Lord bless you and keep you today. Shalom.